Okay, for task six, we're saying create a program to print out a list of all the patrons currently in the nightclub. Okay, probably jump with the gun with this one a little bit. This probably makes more sense when we see loops next week, but I'm just gonna print out the list, okay? So rather than saying that I'm not gonna do it, I'll do, we'll do a simple version of it, okay? We'll see how this ties into our lists. I think we've already done it, to be honest. Um, yeah, we have, okay, so task four. So you can kind of see what we've done with task four already, okay? which was the COVID name register and the COVID phone number register. Um, if I've got someone's name, this is basically who's in the club. That is my register. It's just a list, okay? So if this runs, ideally this would be in a loop and I could keep taking person after person after person after person and appending their information to the list. So Diana, Bruce, Jane, John, Billy, Sarah, and off it goes. Okay, we get the idea. So, um, we take in someone's name via input. We use dot append to add whatever we've taken in to that particular list. And, you know, the simplest version of this is that we've just done a simple print that says print the COVID name register. So, if I, oh, sugar23, enter my name, uh, someone's messing with a register they type in Billy the kid oh okay I'm running the wrong program good one okay it's good to see this okay you'd be like oh wow this isn't the functionality I expect make sure we're running the right program task 4 run again my age is 23 uh, enter your name Billy the K what's my phone number Okay, so you can see that we've, you know, we're able to display it what's in the list. We're going to see this with loops next week, so we'll be able to loop or iterate through the content of a particular list. But equally, we still are able to show out what the values are for our particular list by just printing out the name of a particular list. Okay, so same again. We've used append to add something to the list, and later on, then we're able to use print the list itself to get the list of information or to show what's actually currently being stored in that list, okay? So keep this one short and sweet. Any issues, any questions, just let me know.